Hey guys, it's Ken from KPD Productions TV. We are downtown Newmarket, Ontario, Canada, uh, and I want to try a fish and chip place that I've seen around. It's been there for quite some time. Haven't tried it. I know there's a lot of people from Europe, uh, especially uh, England, who want to tr want me to try as many fish and chip places as I can. Let's go across the street real quick, and we'll order some food, and then after that, maybe we'll hit up a crepe place. This is the chip and malt fish and chips. I hear the food's awesome. Oh, mask is required. <laughs> Put our mask on. As it says, required. Hello. How are you? Fantastic. How are you? Excellent. Um, first time here. Okay. I heard your stuff is good. Okay. So I'm going to do a fish and chips, whatever the most ordered item is that yeah. I have on the menu. What do you always want your preference with uh, with fish? Uh, what you have? So we have halibut, we have haddock, we have cod, we have orange ruffy, and then we have olives. Uh, so I think the, haddock is like the best one, right? Like the uh, most expensive. It depends on no, the most expensive is halibut. So is it, it depends on your preference, right? Oh, halibut, halibut is uh, it's very meaty, very firm, very dense. Okay, that's what I want. Right, it's kind yeah. of like chicken breast. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's the most popular, followed by the haddock. But all our fish are. Can we do like a? Slice of haddock and then a slice. It's a lot of fish. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, like I don't want you to like, you know, it's, it's like, so the halibuts are about five and a half ounce pieces. Okay. And then the haddocks are about seven to eight ounce pieces. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, so yeah. It's not a typical like two piece fish and chips. It's, or we do one big piece, like proper English style fish and chips, right? So, Let's do it. Yeah, oh, yeah. so the halibut? Yes, please. Is, for here to go. Uh, I'm going to uh, try to eat on the patio. Okay, so uh, grab a seat. Okay. And then Robin will come out. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take you out. Okay. Thank you, sir. Hey, we're trying to at restaurants. Yeah, yeah, I know, hey, finally. Yeah. I'm in. Did you want me to open the umbrella for you? you oh, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, hello. Hello there, how are you? All right, how are you doing? Good, good. What do we have to drink? Uh, looks like you have hot drinks, cold drinks, fountain. What do you have on draft? On draft, we have uh, Bose Log Trek, which is organic water from Ottawa. Sounds good, Ottawa. Yeah, yeah. let's do so that. You're just going to go for that. Yeah, this sounds good. Bring a nice water as well? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Again, guys, let me know in the comments below if you like this style of video, and we'll just keep doing them. Go to mom and pop shops and stuff, and. Uh, support them and uh, have some good food while we're at it. All right guys, so here's their menu. Let's go in for a close-up. So like you said, they've got cod, haddock, pollock, halibut, which is what I'm ordering, orange roughy. So it's gonna be uh, $19.99. It is a very expensive fish, uh, but we are going to definitely enjoy it. Looks like they also have greens, burgers, sandwiches. Ooh, the dirty bird. That looks good. Then over here we've got hard drinks, wine, cold drinks, hot drinks, dessert. Oh boy, deep fried Mars bar. Hmm. We'll have to see about that. And then over here we have a bit on the side. All right. So. Got the drink already. Nice. Absolutely. Got you a nice water. Keep you hydrated. Perfect. <laughs> and a Bose Luck trip for you as well. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Would you like a straw? Oh, no, it's all right. Thanks. Saving the order. Is that a paper straw or plastic? It's plastic oh. right now. We're just having a hard time getting a hold of yeah, a lot of different ordering products it. Yeah. at this time. Yeah. yeah. No problem. So we're just trying our best to keep people for safe. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So you can take a look at the menu? Uh, I think I ordered, I'm not sure, maybe he didn't take my order. The, the owner, Chris, he was mentioning that you wanted halibut. And yeah. are you going to have it with our fresh cut chips and some yes. coleslaw and tartar sauce? Yes, please. I'll get that burger in. Thank you. You're welcome, dude. Check this out, guys. Beer all the way from Ottawa. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's good. That is a good lager. I love lagers. And we've got this beautiful water glass. <laughs> Cheers again. It's not a crazy hot day today, but it's still nice to have water. Wow, looks fantastic. Wow. Looks great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And you have everything you need? I think I do. I'll be back to check. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Going in for a close up of this beautiful lunch. We got our beer and our water. It's waiting for me to drink it. Look at these fries over here. Golden brown. Nicely salted. 
Then we got this beautiful piece of fish. Look at that. Oh my goodness. The breading looks beautiful. And then we've got our tartar sauce. And over here is our coleslaw. I'm not a huge coleslaw fan, but I'd love to try everybody's personal recipe uh, to hopefully find one that I really like. But does that not look wonderful, guys? Leave a comment in the comment section below if you think that is rocking or not. I think you'll agree that it is rocking. First up, we're gonna use this malt vinegar. It's been a while since I've had malt vinegar. But you're gonna put that on your fish for sure. And I'm, again, I'm not sure if lemon is just a North American thing because I've talked to a few people from Britain and they say they never get a slice of lemon with their fish. Is that true? Let me know once again. But we love lemon. Whoa, we love lemon on our fish. Oh yeah, squeeze it, drizzle it, enjoy it. All right, napkin dry off. I will be putting some ketchup on my fries too. I did shake it already. Just a little bit. For now, uh, I'm definitely a salt. A little bit of extra salt, not too much. Definitely pepper on my fries. Oh yeah. Try not to get any on my fish. Let's just try this coleslaw once again. I hope I like it. Oh yeah, oh look how nice that is. Mm. Not bad. As coleslaws go, that's probably one of the better ones I've ever had. Let's just try a french fry. Nicely thick cut. Mmm. Not sure which potatoes they use and which oil they use. No aftertaste. And beautiful tasting potatoes. French fries. Do with the ketchup, salt, and pepper. Mmm. Even better. I'm also just using an external mic on this with a with a windscreen, a wind, yeah, windscreen on it. So let me know if you like the sound, or maybe next time I'll wear a lapel mic. All right, guys, check out that beautiful flaking piece of fish. Nice. Oh, we got a we got a stowaway on the bottom, but that looks wonderful. We're definitely gonna dip that in the tartar sauce. Oh yeah. Would you eat that? Oh yes, you would. Let's do it. Cheers once again. Mmm. The breading's nice and crunchy. I've got to love lemon on my fish. Oh yeah. This is a wonderful lunch. The malt vinegar is definitely better than white vinegar. We'll get a little bit more of that. Put that on there. It's gonna fall off. Yep. They definitely don't chimp out on the french fries whatsoever. Let me know what you drink with a nice fish and chip meal like this. But again, I went with this one called Bose. It's a very nice light lager. And it's pairing very nicely with this lovely meal. It's got right into that nice crispy batter. Dip it once again, smear it on. I wasn't 100% sure where I was gonna go for lunch today. I had about five, six options. I'm glad I came here. I'm gonna to have to come back a few more times, try all their other fish, and really find out which one is my favorite. Whoop, fell right off the plate. I'm glad that they're surviving through the pandemic. That's a really good sign that they did what they needed to do to stay in business and they've got the clientele to back them up. So that's how you know the food is good. Because if the food was eh, then people wouldn't have supported the, the restaurant and it would have failed. But obviously the chip and malt shop survived because they have wonderful food and fantastic clients. 
They just gained a new client. Once again, guys, check out all that beautiful white flaky fish covered in that nice greasy batter. That is a thing of beauty. Let's dip it in here. Try our best. Make sure it doesn't fall apart. Wonderful lunch, wonderful. I'm actually gonna finish off this coleslaw today. It tastes like it's got a hint of uh, horseradish in here. And that's what's making this one extra special, I think. This tartar sauce, I'm hoping it's in-house made, because it tastes great. Mm. All right, guys, I am all done as much as I can eat right now. I'm gonna get a doggy bag for these for later on. And, but the fish was wonderful. I'm gonna sit back, relax, enjoy this Bose beer, and then we'll move on to our next location. Thank you. Thank you, have a lovely afternoon. You too. So obviously this place is a fantastic place if you want some fish and chips. Uh, now let's go get some dessert. All right, we are in the same plaza that you guys might recognize. So over there is the McDonald's under the 24 hour stealth camping video. Uh, I also have done the Five Guys here and Wild Wings. This whole area has got a lot of restaurants and stuff. But again, the, the number one restaurant that we're gonna try out for you guys right now for our dessert for the day is this Crepe Star. So let's go in there. I'm hoping it's open, it should be open. Let's go get some food. Oh man. Well, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't open till five on Fridays, and it's just after one. I was hoping to give you guys something cool and special, but it isn't gonna happen right now. But uh, we'll have to come back one day and show you Crepe Star. My wife loves that place. All right, we are now in Bradford, Ontario, Canada, at the Portugal Bakery. A bakery that I have never been into. I always wanted to try it. I hear people come from other townships just to buy their goods. So to me, that means they got some good food. So let's go in there, grab a bunch of different items and see if they're any good. Okay, stop. So that guy ahead of me, the only reason he came in here is for these tarts. And like I said, people come from all around just for these tarts and that's it. You know what? Let's go home and eat them. All right guys, got home, cut all the pastries in half just to make it much easier on us. Uh, of course, I took a whole tart as it was because there's six. I'm gonna give the rest to uh, my family. So it came to $15 for all that stuff that you saw. Uh, the tarts are a buck 50 each. So six of them came to $9. Uh, these large pastries are two dollars each at six dollars and uh, that's that's that Okay, guys going in taking a peek at that Portuguese tart or custard tart You guys know the name. I always forget <laughs> Then we got this beautiful looking multi-layer pastry that looks phenomenal 
And then over here we've got our, what I thought was a vanilla log cake. Uh, she said it's lime. And over here we've got an eclair ready to be ingested by yours truly. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. All right, let's take a bite of that tart first. Thing of beauty. Mmm, you hear that? Crispy outer, nice and gooey center. Oh, that's such a great tasting tart. Wow. If you love custard and you love pastries, you'll love this. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have had this. Uh, if you haven't, uh, find your local uh, Portuguese bakery and grab some of them. Mm. I guess we're gonna go in for this cake. We'll cut through that. It looks like little flakes of white uh, chocolate all uh, grated onto the, the uh, icing. It's funny because when you bite into it, you're not expecting to get that citrus flavor, but it's there it tastes great. I love the, uh, the flecks of chocolate on it. That was nice. Let's go in for another one. Let's just chop off this centerpiece, that roll part. Oh yeah. It is really good. What I suggest though, is you get that top part with all the little chocolate flakes on it. That's the best. Let's do one more big chunk. See if we can flip that over and see. Yeah, there's only one more chunk of white chocolate on there, but it is going down the hatch. This thing looks like you could put a fork through it, but each layer of the pastry is is hard and then it's got the the cream in between them all so as you're pushing your fork and everything is <clears throat> squishes out the side so we're going to try and pick this up this fork always goes right into the cake oh boy um i haven't had one of these in years and i'm thinking a part of me just by the look of it looks like kind of a like a walnut type pastry let's just find out Mm. I don't know what's in it, but it tastes so good. And that white icing, little swirl kind of thing on the top, this adds that little punch to it. Mm-hmm. That's really good. The pastry's fresh. The cream is fresh. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be eating the rest of that for sure. Last but not least, the chocolate eclair. Look at that chocolate, it's melting, it's so hot in my car. Mm. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be all over my face. Mmm, totally different texture of that, that uh, pastry from the other three. I'll go back to cake, but... <laughs> The pastry is so different on this thing. That cream is wonderful. And that chocolate drizzle on top. Hmm, look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful, people? Looks like Charlie and the Cho Chocolate Factory happened here. Mm, it squishes out everywhere. Ooh la la. Let's try and finish it off. I've always loved chocolate eclairs. One of my favorite desserts from my whole childhood. And now that I'm an adult, I still love it. These are my two favorites. Then the Eclair. This is great, but I probably wouldn't buy it again, knowing I can have that, that, or the Eclair. Those are my three favorites on this plate. All right, that's all I can eat right now. Woo! All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this food adventure with me, going to the chip and malt for fish and chips, and then going out for dessert at a different place. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go to the crepe place, but fortunately, we found this Portuguese place, and I'll definitely be going back to both locations in the near future. If you enjoyed watching this video and you wanna show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out this awesome playlist, and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.